we celebrate the feast of St. John, the Apostle. St. John is known as the Apostle of Love. God came into the world because of his love for the humanity. That's what we read in John 3.16. This is what Jesus' life was completely understood by John. He said, God so loved the world. And then he sent his son. The reason for Jesus coming into the world, according to John, is God's love for the humanity. He looked at everything as love. That's why he never writes about himself. He says, the one whom the Lord loved said like that. Always referred to himself as the one who loved God. Yes. We read in 1 John 2, 26 and 27, he says, the world and all its glory is passing away. And only those who love God, they live. Rest all, go away. The world and its glory. So, St. John, through his life, he tells us, all the disciples were murdered. And St. John also was taken into the oil which was boiling. And they dipped him. And the history says the fellow who dipped, he was burnt and he was hospitalized and he passed away. But not John. When God has a purpose for us, nobody can destroy us. At the end of the day, it is it is the plan and will of God. That's why John says, the world and all its glory will pass away. But he who does the will of God will live forever. That's why in Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13, we read, only I, the Lord, knows what type of plan I have for your life. The plans I have for you is for your welfare and not for your destruction. I have a golden future for you. Yes. So, in 29.11 clearly says, I have a plan for you. Yes. In the book of Psalm 107, it is written that Verse 8, oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness, for his wonderful plan. To the children of men will live forever. Yes. Again, verse 13 onwards, it is written, they cried to the Lord their God in trouble, and he saved them from every distress. He brought them out of darkness, and even from the shadow of death, and broke their chains into pieces. Verse 16, For he has broken the gates of bronze, and cut the bars of iron into two. Yes, that is the way. When God's plan is there, he will pull you out of any, even if the death comes. If only you and I remain in the will of God. That's why in Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 38, Mother Mary said, I am God's handmaid. Let God's will be done in my life. As you have said, let things happen to me. Yes. That's why Mother Mary was protected. Protected. God protected her in five ways. When she said, here I am to do the will of God. According to the plan of God, let it happen to me. If only most of the time, we have our own thoughts. 
our minds rule us not the spirit rule us the god said i am with you the king of glory who leads you to glory is inside you be aware of the lord and celebrate the lord we hear we go away why it doesn't affect us only few minutes because we live as people of thinking not as the people of the heart we don't celebrate the lord we want to serve god serve god is different from loving god loving god means i have given my life and nobody can take away the joy of the lord from me the call of the lord from me but when things don't take place we get upset worried discouraged disappointed why because we live with the thoughts we don't live him in love we don't believe in him we think if people do something for us then god does no this is when god does people do god can change even the enemies into friends if that type of faith we don't have we can't help it out the world is moving in that way but in the life of john we find he was a man of the heart they dipped him nothing happened so they did not know what to do with him how to get rid of him so they found a a cave cave means full of mountains full of mosquitoes it's called patmos so they thought to throw away him because the uh, jailers cruel jailers uh, who have to be punished they were thrown in patmos once they put in patmos means they will not escape because there is no proper home only the cave they have to stay and in the mosquitoes all kinds of sickness come only once in a month a ship will come in a particular day that day you would collect the water collect the, your food and that's all and most of those prisoners they fight with each other when my food is over i want somebody else food somebody else has kept the food they will fight it and many die there and okas on side sickness on side no food and john was thrown to die but he was conscious of the lord in him lord the world tried to kill me but you have made me to live lord he was conscious of the lord he was living with the lord he was every day every day he brought to his mind what god has done to him and he as he was living he was thanking god it is thanksgiving to god for what we are in the eyes of the world maybe we are considered as bad maybe considered as not blessing but when we thank the lord and praise him glorify him definitely god's mercy comes upon us god's grace comes upon us god's anointing comes upon us and when john was continuously thanking the lord for his position what happened god began to give him revelations and then he started to write the beautiful book which no human being can write is called the book of revelation the book of first john second john third john about the book of love gospel of st john all of them written by apostle john in a very very difficult situation to the eyes of the world we are dying but even that dying situation if it is given in thanksgiving to god with the faith if we move god will bring life out of us god will bring salvation through the cross that's what the life of john is all about john went through struggle 
went through suffering but he went with the lord he carried the cross but he carried with the lord and the lord whom he loved took him beyond that's what we read in first corinthians 2 9 what no eye has seen what no ear has heard what no one imagined is the thing the lord has for those who love him the lord did for him when we love him at the end of the day what matters is whether we love him or not that's what we read in isaiah chapter 28 verse 6 where we read god turns god turns everything into good for those who love him so god turns everything into good for those who love him who love him so when we love god god will turn everything but we don't love him we are agitating him why this is lord how things are going on lord what is happening to me lord so when I am holding on to myself, God doesn't come into our lives. You are trying to find your ways. Okay, go ahead. And only in surrender, love and surrender goes together. If we really accept the love of God, we begin to surrender to His will. When we don't accept His love, we remain a beggar till the end. We begin to question ourselves, question our God, question our situation, and we remain like that. But only when we love, we surrender, Lord, here I am. Here I am. Let your will be done. 